Hey there, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to play Blouse <laughs> by Claro. Um, I'm really excited for this song, it's a wonderful tune. It's It has some tricky parts, but I will explain everything in a lot more detail after I've played the entire song. So check that out if you're having some trouble. So before we get into the song, I want to give a huge thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. DistroKid is this amazing online service that can distribute your music to all the big streaming platforms like Spotify, iTunes, YouTube Music and many many more. It's less than $20 a year if you use the discount code in the description. Then you can upload unlimited songs and you get to keep 100% of the revenue you make from your songs. So it is truly an amazing service. I have used DistroKit for my own songs and I will keep on using it because I'm so satisfied with it. So not only do they distribute your music, they also recently launched some really cool marketing tools that you can use on the website to promote your music. You can get your songs on one of DistroKid's playlists. You can create promo cards for your new release that you can post on your social media. You can create mini videos that you can use to post on your social media. You can now also sync your lyrics with your song. So for example, when somebody uses your song on Instagram, you can see the lyrics shown on their story, which is really cool, I think. So I really hope I could convince you. Check out the link in the description and a huge thank you again to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. So that's how to play the song. Uh, first of all, the strumming pattern isn't too strict. Um, Claro varies a bit with it, uh, so you can make it as easy or as difficult for yourself as you like it to be. I'll show you the sort of the main strumming pattern, the main picking pattern that's used most, 
and I'll show you also how you can vary it, how you can make it a bit easier or make it a bit more your own. So first of all, the first chord is a G and it goes like this. Let's just start off very slowly. So you first play the E, the D and the G string and then like that. So there's a, you have to place your temp on the E and the A string most of the time and your index finger, middle finger, ring finger on the D, G and the B string. She's not using the bottom E string most of the time. So, so then... So two times the, the mid, you have to place your middle finger on the second fret of the E string. So there she does this hammer on. Like. When you're doing this, you have to hammer on your middle finger on the second fret. So I will do it slowly once again. Then this is again a hammer on, maybe a bit of a tricky one. You have to place your thumb on the A string, index finger on the D string, middle finger on the G string, and then you hammer on your middle finger and ring finger of your left hand on the second fret of the D and the A string. Um, if this is too tricky, you can also not hammer it on, so then it sounds like this. And after this hammer on, you do. Like that. So I'll do it slowly once more. You don't necessarily have to play the full chord here, you can also again just play the B string, she varies with it. And then this part happens. Now this looks difficult and it is quite difficult but she only does it like this once in the beginning, so after this it gets easier, but this goes like this. So always your thumb on the, the A string, so first a full C chord, and then, and then, so, so play it slowly, listen close to the rhythm, I think this is best, I mean the finger Positioning isn't too difficult, um, I'll just play it slowly once more. And then um, you have the, 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 the chorus you could say, which goes like this. So first a D chord, and then you play the bass and the rest of the chord. Then with your thumb you play the E string. So. I 
I'll do it slowly once again. And then she sings the blouse part, which goes like... So again, your turn whistle should be on the A string and your index finger, middle finger, ring finger on the D, G and the B string. Again, you have this hammer on, you place, you play uh, the D and the G string with your index and middle finger, and then you hammer on with your middle finger and ring finger of your left hand. Like that. And it, at the end, you can also play single notes instead of the of this. You can also do. You can vary with that. So yeah, I'll do it slowly once more. Like that. And you can also do it without the hammer on, then it sounds like this. So then you just play instead of. So like that. Yeah, it's um try to play the song slowly, that helps. And uh, don't worry too much if it's not the exact same thing as she's playing, as long as you're in the rhythm and you're playing the right chords, that's all fine. And she also varies a lot with how she plays the, the strumming pattern and how she plays the picking pattern. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I, I really hope to see you the next time.